close you're close to getting your master's. What are you? What's your concentration? Um, just just working on that, um, finishing up school and getting that second degree down. What, what discipline? Like what area are you studying to get the master's in? Um, sports management. Pretty hard, but got people help me, so I just the public speaking just get me every time. <laughs> Does this help? Uh, I mean, it's normal just being around you guys, but when you have your friends in front of you, you mess up, they cracking up laughing at you, so it can be pretty hard when you're doing it in the classroom. How different has it been this year with a new offensive coordinator? I mean, you've been through, what, three now, right? Um, how, what, what's been the biggest difference coming into this game? The biggest difference is that you just got to learn everything that everybody's doing on the field. So if you play – Receiver, you play a Y, X, Z, you got to learn what the H, um, the Z receiver doing. If you play fullback, you got to learn what the H receiver doing. It's just, just different than anything, any, anything I've been a part of since I've been here. They got you going out wide for some verticals? You yeah. yeah, have a couple of those this year? Yeah, trying to, trying to. I hope I get open. I let the door to me. Saban was saying that the offense was maybe ahead of the defense this year at this point, and that's not as common. You probably see it that way, don't you? I mean, Defense look pretty good to me. I mean, the offense just have more time to like work on the um, stuff and during our season, like during the summer with seven on seven. But because you got the, mostly all the skilled guys out there, then you get to work with the offense line too. But the defense, um, they just out there and they they just running their coverage, so they really don't get to work with each other. With, with the, well, the D line anyway. What do you see from the running backs this year? I know it's mo pretty much the same group, but but how is it different this year? Everybody just focused. I mean, last year we 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 was a good group, but we just weren't focused as much as we are now. I can ask you about that drill where you got two balls in your arms and you got one foot going through the through the. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just a balance drill that Coach Brown came up with. He said he just be thinking like, thinking about stuff on the way to work. <laughs> he just <laughs> wanted to do it and try it out. Is that one of the harder ones to do? Nah, that's about the hardest one we do right now. I know we had a couple of trips. <laughs> I know I almost tripped one time. I had to save myself. Saban said you're a player that he can look at and it's proof to himself that the process that he's developed works. It's on the field, off the field. When you think back to your senior year of high school, you couldn't play football to now. How have you grown as a, as a person? I mean, I came a long way. I mean, going to where I, can, going to where I can, went through, come from uh, Mobile. I mean, you got to grow up. You see a lot of different things growing up in Mobile, and you know you got to make a change. You just can't be like no other ordinary guy come from Mobile. You got to stand out when you're doing stuff like this. You said there have been other coaches that have been a lot of explosive plays. Have you had some of those? I'll say I have about one or two, not, not too many. But there have been a lot? Yes, sir. Everybody just, that just comes from finishing the play. Who's, who's, it like? play, who's making a lot of them? Amari Cooper, Derrick Henry, TJ, Drake, yeah, I mean, the guy who you normally see making big plays, DeAndre White, Quentin Jones, we even got Robert Foster, I mean, just a lot of people making big plays. Did it feel good to get the pads on for the first time? Yeah, it felt pretty good. I mean, it's been a long time <laughs> since last year and everything that ended, but we, got, we focus on this year and just trying to win and, and be productive this year. Robert has a good vertical leads. Is that maybe one of his, you mean one of the better jumpers on the team, Foster? Yeah, him and DeAndre White, they'll go up and get it. I mean, those balls will jump. To go back to his question real quick, we see a lot of photos of your son. Uh, how has he changed your life? I mean, I, that little guy right there, man, he, he makes a big difference in my life. I mean, I just don't want to see him, like, I want to say I struggle, but I just don't want to see him mess up where I messed up at him. I want him to be better than me. Is he Duty Jr.? Now we, I tried to call him Tootie, but <laughs> that didn't work. So we just called him, me and mom just called him Junior. When you say, you know, not major stuff, stuff that you messed up in, what are you, what are you talking about? What, like what mistakes would you want to see him avoid? Like just being out, being with the wrong crowd sometimes. Um, school work, just be more focused in school. How are the tight ends? Pretty much use the same, I and mean, they doing basically the same thing. It's, it's really not not a big difference for the tight end. It's more like a difference for the agent, the receivers, and all that.
couple more? Any more? You, you talked a lot last year about how much you like blocking. Is uh, is anything changing in that respect? You still like? I mean, I, I, I love blocking. I mean, I've been doing it all my life, ever since I was a little kid, so it, it's nothing major for me. I mean, they not going to hit myself. <laughs> you, ever, you ever give Mario any, any help for, for having more touchdowns than him last year? <laughs> nah, I don't. I really don't even look into it. I, I really didn't know until they told me about it. And I just want to be productive like that this year, or at least try to be productive like that this year. Thanks, Diddy. Thank you. Thank you.